I'm standing in front of um, Badu Barea, which is a heritage display designed by GMO Heritage for Walker Corporation. And GMO Heritage was commissioned to design this display to celebrate the archaeology and history of this site, which 6 and 8 Parramatta Square has been um, developed and built on. The, the centre point of this display is an ancient creek line. Um, that ran basically across this site um, underneath where I'm standing. This creek and this site itself was actually surrounded by wetlands. Local Durag artist and educator Leanne Watson with Jasmine Seymour um, kindly share what this special landscape means to First Nations people by writing and painting the story Badu Barea, um, which forms basically the framework to this display. The wetlands for Darug people are really important places that when we're children and we're growing up we spend a lot of time with our elders. So as a young girl I would have spent time with my grandmother all around the wetlands and creek areas um, learning all of her knowledge that she shared while she was collecting um, a lot of medicines in those places. It's, um, with a lot of the works that we've been doing lately that the swamp lands and creek lines and places with those resources was a really important place and was call often called the grandmother's place which is the place where we would have learnt all of our knowledge of medicines and foods from those areas. The creek line um, and water holes are used as a visual device to move the audience through phases of the historical change that the site has endured. Food is the narrative that links this timeline together. Artifacts and um, sculptured food vessels interpreted by First Nations artists Jake Nash and um, sculpted by Orlando Norrish and Stacey Sims um, are used to tell the story of how many different people grew, gathered and consumed food here. It's always good to start with uh, the original object. So we get to study it and look at you know the way it's made and the texture and really I guess get an understanding of you know what it looks like in three dimensions and from that point you know as an artist or a sculptor you can then start making decisions about how it's going to end up on a wall which is really all part of an artwork you know and be shared with the public in a public space so I guess you know this is where I always start um, is you know country with real objects. Um, this is a gulaman that was made by my dad. Um, it means a lot to me because my dad can't make um, the wooden artifacts anymore. Um, so this one was made for my first granddaughter to be photographed in. So to me this is really special. It's something that I'll keep forever. But um, I absolutely love all timber artefacts. I love the colour, the texture. I just think they're really beautiful. Um, so this is a Derry Gulliman. This display moves from deep time through colonisation, civic improvement, to migration, and um, finishes with the important message of continuum of First Nations culture. We were brought up to be really proud of our culture and heritage. Um, I've always sort of done a bit of language all of my life and my children have also been taught language by my mother. So there's quite a few German that are doing um, revitalising Derek language and creating a dictionary and doing school programs. So Derek language is coming back stronger than ever. We tend to spend a lot of time now trying to do cultural education in Parramatta to just to keep that um, culture strong. Um, the contemporary Darug culture is just as significant as our traditional culture. Um, we're, still, we're still here and um, we survived. We're still strong and our culture is still really strong.